Ladies and gentlemen, no introduction, no big fanfare. He doesn't need it. Please welcome Red Button. <laughs> Thank you, Norm Crosby. Your father was my idol when I was growing up. Norm, Norm took many a slap and punch to the head from Bing when he was a kid, which enabled him to talk funny and make a living for the rest of his life. And for this, I say he deserves a standing ovulation. <laughs> You got to open with something. <laughs> I was, was sitting around my penthouse <laughs> in, in Beverly Hills, a, a lovely place to live. The department stores carry their wedding gowns in the sporting goods section. <laughs> I, I wasn't, I wasn't doing much. I was just sitting around wondering which one of the Banger sisters would make a good bang. When, when the phone rang, my, my butler, who was also my son, <laughs> <laughs> said Mr. Buttons. <laughs> Honey Chung of Beverly Hills. <laughs> With the breaking news that said Caesar is getting a dinner because the friars are too cheap to get him what he really needs. A new cane. He's been falling on his ass lately. I said, friend, count me in. I'll be there. You know me. You know me. You call me. I am there. It doesn't matter where. I am there. I was there in Transylvania. <laughs> at a midnight minion of Jewish Orthodox vampires. <laughs> suck a neck unless they salt it first. <laughs> I was there, I was vamping, I was salting, I was sucking. <laughs> buddy, I was there. So that I said, 11, buddy, I was there. In Paris, at a left bank Quasimodo rubber hump for good luck day. <laughs> I was there quasi rubbing, humping. But Connie, I was there. That's why I'm here. 
you tonight, make a damn fool of myself. In Holland, my friends, at the annual Hans Sprinker Stick a Finger in a Dike Parade. <laughs> Monks recycle secondhand Volvos into Florida voting machines. <laughs> of gay Hasidic stand-up comedians. <laughs> who after every punchline kiss their tzitzis. <laughs> and kiss your tzitzis too. <laughs> I was in I was invited and I showed up. Like, not like so many people who didn't show up here tonight who were invited to be here at this party. Have just a small little list. Some of those folks, some of those folks, buddy, did not show up here tonight after being invited. Shonda for the neighbors, but they're not here. Robert De Niro, who said to Marcel, Marcel, you talking to me? <laughs> You, you talking to me? You talking to me? Invited, not here. Anna Nicole Smith, who said, Where there's a will, there's a way. Not present on the premises here tonight. Dick Cheney, who said when he left Halliburton, <laughs> fill her up. <laughs> not to be found. Not to be found. One woman in the men's room was not there, but. <laughs> Jack Carter, who was pissed off because he quit smoking and could be worth $28 billion. <laughs> Then you get off from the bananas, not here. <laughs> Don Rickles, the greatest living argument against human cloning. <laughs> Not in the house. Jack Welch, who said to General Electric, can I keep the poodle? <laughs> We're up to date humor. <laughs> Dolly.
Dolly Parton who said to Billy Crystal, analyze these. <laughs> <laughs> Not here tonight. Should have been here for the great Cincy. <laughs> Al Gore, <laughs> who said when he learned there are two winners for the title of Miss North Carolina, <laughs> they can do that? <laughs> here tonight. Dr. Hoot, Dr. Hoot, who said, if you don't want to talk to your husband when you're having sex, don't answer the phone. <laughs> Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, who said on the Oprah show, if you are so sick that you have to have sex with an animal, do it with a horse. This way you'll always have a ride home. <laughs> back at my alma mater, the Friars Club, where, where many moons ago, our leader, Milton Burrell, <laughs> where our leader, Milton Burrell, was inspected for a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> And although Milton, whose memory is revered with mixed emotions, <laughs> is no longer with us, his weapon is on life support <laughs> in the northern pavilion of Cedar Sinai. <laughs> Just a little interjection here, I want to say, Sid, and I think it's wonderful that Woody Allen took time off from stooping <laughs> to make the film for you. Well, gentlemen, is a true friend, a true friar, and may the wind always be in his back and also his front. Sid? I hope you don't believe all the stuff that they said about you tonight. <laughs> you know, the greatest this, the greatest that. Don't fall for any of that crap. <laughs> you are not going to be remembered for that. You are going to be remembered for inventing the salad. <laughs> <laughs> Father's Greek restaurant in Yonkers, New York. One day he picked up a piece of lettuce, and grated some cheese, put in a couple of croutons, a little anchovy, a little white of an egg, a little garlic, 
and he came up with this dish, <laughs> which today they are charging $16 a plate <laughs> for this drink at Spago's. <laughs> Said in closing, just a few congratulatory remarks to you, and to say to you that 80, 80 said is not old, not old. Old as if you remember when Heimlich was only squeezing zits. <laughs> Old as if every morning at 7 a.m. you empty your bladder and at 7.10 you get out of bed. Talk to you old. <laughs> old as if your doctor no longer x-rays you, he just holds you up to the light. <laughs> Old as if you heard Tony Martin at the inaugural ball. <laughs> Old as if you rent a porno flick, Debbie does dialysis. <laughs> Sid, Sid, at my father's 80th birthday party, I said to him, Pa, what, what does a man of 80 think about? My father said to me, 81. <laughs> as high as I can count. <laughs> I love you. I love you.